to the bank to get some cash and I'm gonna take out all my money, um, all of my savings for school because I'm gonna spend it all at this festival. So this, I'm really excited for this festival because it looks like it's in a really beautiful place in a really beautiful town. Looks very Victorian, looks very steampunk-ish. So it's a really good place to have a steampunk festival, I think. Not as good as cold water. I mean, cold water will always have a special part in my heart because they're amazing. And I love it there. But it looks like it's gonna be a good festival, so yeah. Oh my goodness, there's like a water splash pad thing. Can we go to that when, when we're done? If you're good. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's really close to the actual festival. The festival's like right over there. You can kind of see it. And then, um, where did it go? Where did it go? That was right there! Do you guys like my new cool steampunk wallet? Um, I didn't buy it because it looks steampunk. I just really liked it and I, you know, it goes with my costume, so it has like a little horse and carriage on it. It's so cool, I love it. I got this wallet for half off because the button popped off. They still have the button, I just crazy glued it back on, but I got it for 16 bucks instead of 30, so that's a good deal. Egyptian, guys, and I'm an archaeologist. Is that a sign? Probably not. We're good? Yeah. Video? Yeah, it was a video, right? Okay, it's a video. It's a, That's it's on the video, video too. I video. It is a video. I haven't turned it off yet. You can put this all in the channel if you want. <laughs> yeah, this is all going on. It's all going in the channel. Yes, yeah, so. Okay. Okay. So this is a timekeeping machine. And in back in the day, when employees came into a factory, they would put the dial under the time that they started. Oh, okay. And it would be recorded inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so cool. It's so cool, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if you can see here, you can see this actual machine and the ladies lined up to Wow. Yeah. Oh. Very Imagine. different from nowadays. Where you it? just, you know, punch it in a computer now. Yeah, That's exactly. So cool. Yeah. Or wow. we don't even punch in now. We yeah. just go to sure. work. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This would have been in a shoe store. Okay. And basically what happened was when anybody came in and tried on shoes, mm -hmm. they would turn the machine on, mm -hmm. they would put their foot in the bottom here, mm -hmm. wiggle their toes. Mm -hmm. This was an x-ray machine, you could see right through the shoe, and the mum could look in and the storekeeper could look in to see how close the toes were to the end of the shoe. Oh my goodness, that is so smart. That is really smart. It's smart, but it's not very healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So the gentleman who wrote the Hardy Boys mm -hmm. was a Whitby resident. No and he way. Wrote, while he lived in Whitby, he wrote under the pseudonym Franklin W. Dixon, mm -hmm. but his his real name was Leslie McFarland, but oh, he was wow. a resident. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. People are gonna laugh because they're like, you always show cats in your videos. <laughs> this is steampunk, right? <laughs> this is really terrifying. <laughs> this is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the teeth clean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>